just marvelous. They just hug you and kiss you. And I could have stayed here a couple weeks. <laughs> Wisconsin's veterans visit their memorials and reflect on the moments no one there will soon forget. It was a trip that almost wasn't. Hi, everybody. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Jennifer Hoff. Parts of this weekend's Badger Honor flight were threatened by the government shutdown. Maybe that's why the welcoming committee seemed just a little bit bigger. Their cheers a little louder to recognize Wisconsin's veterans. And Only News 3 was there, too. And captured all of the day's events in Washington, D.C. Good morning. If a picture is worth a thousand words. Perfect. Thank you. Good morning. If I could everyone uh, take your seats. Then moments like this. I kept getting phone calls, texts, emails. You see what's going on in D.C.? Are priceless. They're breaking down the barricades. Not even a government shutdown was going to stop America's veterans. And as we tried to get the message out, we were very much on. 88 of them from Wisconsin and their guardians left Madison Saturday for D.C. <laughs> in a send-off soaked with tradition I do. I have to. and wrapped in well wishes. The two-hour honor flight and trip to follow is funded with donations. It's the organization's 13th trip with World War II, Korean, and Vietnam War veterans. I know three people on this plane. You know, that's all, and so I'm looking forward to meeting a lot more of them. Little did Don Schneider know Let's give them a nice warm up and to walk. about the people waiting to meet him. Welcome to DC. An overwhelming welcome to the nation's capital. Thank you for your service. That would turn solemn after the group stepped off at their first stop. On the hour, the guards at the Tomb of the Unknown change, an act never broken in more than 70 years. There are another 300,000 men and women buried at Arlington Cemetery that's not far from the Marine Corps Memorial. If you can't see her, she can't see you. The group had its picture taken there. And Spring Green native Francis Finer had a confession. I have to admit, admit it really wasn't my idea. His daughter encouraged he make the trip to see the statues in his honor, like the World War II Memorial, a place for some to reflect and remember, we know like it, yeah. and for others to reconnect at a corner of the world they all have in common. My favorite part today was meeting American people that have compassion for a generation that fought for our country and it's still in their hearts, in their minds that they appreciate it and love the sport and they'll never, never forget it. Other significant monuments weren't forgotten about either. And while the group gathered at them, they danced at another ceremony before heading home. A memorable day capped off by a final celebration only Wisconsin could pull off. Nearly six thousand people packed the airport. All these people are here for Howard. It's just amazing. Did you ever dream you'd see this many people? No, I can't believe it. It might be the most to have ever come and say thank you to the greatest generation and beyond. It truly was an honor to be a part of that flight and listen to everyone who was willing to share their stories. They were all just so kind, and I hope really that our coverage can do them justice. That coverage continues tomorrow with a full report from the Korean War Memorial. That holds some pretty special meaning for some of the veterans on board who, uh, for the first time, are able to go on the honor flight. And you can see that story Monday on News 3 at 10.